Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a quick video on how I've been clipping in how I have been clipping in my new extensions. So this is the brand of the extensions that I'm currently using. These are irresistible me. Um, hair extensions and they come with such a cute box. This is a brand that I've been using um, as of lately and I really was just intrigued by them and I've been wanting to get some extensions for the longest time. My boyfriend was like, you just cut your hair. Why do you want long hair? I'm like, it's a girl thing. Really, it's a girl thing. This is what you get your extensions in. It's like this classic thing. Now, obviously mine aren't in here because they're clipped onto my cabeza but you will get all your hair extensions here and then on this side of the pockets you will get a three weft um, extension um, this is what you're supposed to open first so you just open this without opening this in case the color doesn't match your hair to perfection you can send it back and then they can send you another color so it's just like a test matching thing so the extensions that I decided to go with were the 22 inch jet black um, natural Remy hair. And I want to um, mention really quick that I have some experience with extensions. Taking it back a couple of years ago, actually when I first started YouTube, which was about two years ago, if you guys remember, I had long hair and I actually had sewn in extensions. I did like them, but the hair was not the best quality. It was um, Remy hair. And it was beautiful at first it was really soft and silky and everything but as time went on they just got so ugly and the end started fraying really bad and it was it just didn't look good i kept them on and i kept getting them re-sewn i think i had them for about half a year and if you've had sewn in extensions you know the pain those things hurt so much because they literally do tiny little braids on your hair and then they sew in the extensions that is the most painful experience and when i decided to finally cut them off my hair naturally was really long because i had had it in braids for so long it just it grew out so i kept my hair long and then i went through this crazy phase if you remember a few months ago where i wanted to have ombre hair completely fried my hair had to chop it off but before that maybe for four or five years ago I also had clip in extensions and I got them off of Sally's or you know from Sally's Beauty Supply and at that moment I thought they were the best thing ever but now that I recall those extensions were horrible they will tangle so much and again as time went on as you know the longer that you had them the the ends from the extensions would just they would get really thick really thin so they would go really thick and then they would go really thin from the ends so it looked really unnatural so about a month ago when i was contacted by um irresistible me to see if i'd be interested in doing a review it was literally the perfect timing because i was looking for companies for me to um order some extension so it was like literally the perfect timing um as always i looked into the company i read about the reviews i saw reviews on youtube and i decided to just go ahead and do it of course they told me if you like the extensions do the review if you're not happy with them you know just keep them when i received these i was just shocked by how much hair there was i got so many i was like this is a lot of hair what am i going to do with all this hair um surprisingly you know everything just it blends out nicely i was super impressed with the quality with the length of the hair how shiny it was how soft it was and the clips on the extensions were just amazing i mean they really clip on and grab onto your hair as close as possible and they're not painful at all since I've had them I've actually only curled them once and they held their curl so beautifully I think I wore the curl up to like three days and it was just really nice and like wavy hair so I absolutely love that I have um, washed them only once since I've had them and the only reason why I washed them only once was because again from past experience I just learned that with this hair I mean it's not like our natural hair where it produces natural oils to the scalp so I don't want to over dry them or anything like that so I've only washed them once 
and I mean this is how they look after I've washed them they're really nice still so I don't want to ramble too much and give you guys like loads of information um, you will just see how nicely they blend into my hair and literally I have like the ugliest haircut right now because I chopped off my own hair and obviously I am not a hairstylist so I do need to go and get my hair fixed but even with my crazy haircuts, it still blends so nicely and I just love them. I love them so much. So I'm going to show you guys how I clip them in. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's move on to the hair part. Take my hand and we'll go away to a different place we'll Float on air and we'll hide away I'll be your escape Look up and feel the shit so The first thing that I like to do is I like to go probably like right behind my ears Right about here and I'll turn around so you guys can see a better picture Have a better idea of what I am doing About this much hair and what I like to do is I like to twist this into a little ponytail just so this hair won't show through my extensions. So I'm going to take like a little rubber band and I'm just going to twist the hair in just a little bun, a tiny little bun. Kind of like this and I'm going to fix that later but I'm just going to leave that as is for now. And then, since I sectioned off that little piece of hair, that is going to help so the hair here won't be so visible to the extensions. Since my hair is cut so bluntly, it's pretty obvious. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take right above, up in my ear, or above my ear, I guess. And I'm going to take about that much hair, and then I'm just going to section off this part. Now I'm going to take one of my three weft um, extensions. I have labeled them. I will bring you in closer. I have labeled mine because I did get them cut and just so they can fit my hair a little bit better. So I'm just going to take the three weft clip and I'm going to put it as close to my ear as possible and then I'm just going to snap it all around. I'm going to take the other side of the extension and as you can see this has blue markings and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to snap it on this side. So that's what it looks like so far. I wash these extensions so they're not like super straight but I can just straighten them in a little, um, in a little bit. So now I'm going to undo the rest of my hair. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to re-divide my hair right about like the corners of my eyes. So now I'm going to take another two um, weft piece and again this is red so it's going to go on this side and I'm just going to be placing it. I'm going to place it as close to the front as I possibly can just like that and I like to just brush my hair in between to make sure I don't have any knots I'm going to take another two piece and again this is the blue side so it goes on this side and I'm going to put it right here So now that I'm at the top, pretty much at the crown section, I'm just going to, again, just re-divide my hair right where the crown is, right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my biggest piece of weft. This one is huge and it is so stinking thick. And you have four clips, so this will go pretty much around your head. If you have a big old noggin like me, it might be a little bit longer, but since it's with Arizona, it fits pretty much there. 
So I'm going to start by this end and clipping it down. I know a lot of people like to like twist it and do all these type of things to mine. I really just try to get in there and not twist so much hair because my head hurts so much when I do that. So I just try to clip them in really nice and tight just so that they don't move or anything. So now what you want to do is you just want to section off your hair where you want it to go as far as the parts. I usually do it in the middle, but I'm kind of, but I'm kind of feeling the side part today. So I'm just going to, you know, just going to part it anywhere. So now we have a couple of pieces left. So I have another two piece and this is the one that goes on the left. So I'm just kind of going to find places where I feel I need more coverage and just really you know just stick it in there so I'm gonna put one right about here because that's where I feel like I need another clip and then I'm gonna take another two clip and I'm gonna place it at about the same place just because I feel I need more coverage there Now I'm going to take one of the one clips and I'm going to be putting it about here because I have short bangs and I feel like you can tell, you know, since my bangs are cut so short. So I'm just going to place it right there. So I'm just going to quickly run my straightener through my hair and through the extensions. So let me just go ahead and do that and then... I will be right back. So this is all the hair that I have clipped in. It is very heavy and it's a lot of hair. Um, I don't wear them on a daily basis. I mostly wear them when I'm like gonna go out somewhere or just like for pictures or things like that. Just because it gets <laughs> very hot and your girl can't take it. So I really like them. It's fun just to change out your look, you know, to have short hair one day and then a really voluminous thick long hair the next day so um, extensions are really just more for fun for me and just to spice up my looks here and there so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video now if you guys are interested in purchasing some extensions for yourself um, I was able to actually get a discount code for you ladies um, it's irresistible Karina I'm just kidding. It is Irresistible Karina and it'll give you 10% um, off of your purchase. So again, if you guys are interested, I will have all the info in the description bar down below. So don't forget to check that out. And I believe that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next